welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm going to be running you through my seven top favorite highlighters. I wish I had the video showing you guys how many highlighters I started with in my full on collection, but I recently moved in with my boyfriend. I just moved into his house. So in the process of like packing and moving before arriving, I got rid of so much of my makeup collection. Like it's not even funny. I am not a hoarder by any means. I love getting rid of things. I love recycling things. I love donating things. I find that it's really like cleansing for me, but when it comes to makeup, like I have a hoarding problem. If I don't like a makeup in the first like two weeks of me using it, I'm not gonna like it. So I don't really know what the point of me holding on to it is. I've narrowed it down to seven highlighters that I've kept in my collection and I started with 30. Seven. Okay, please don't interrupt my video. Thank you, Brogan. Also, side note, I'm like real crazy today. I am like in a rare form today. But if you notice, like if you watched my last video, this is a different backdrop. I'm just trying out different things. I'm also filming at night. It's currently 8 p.m. and it's like pitch black out, which is super depressing because that means that winter is coming. I'm just trying to figure out like the best time, the best situation in my new situation to film videos. So if it gets a little confusing, I apologize please bear with me. And if my makeup looks a little crazy today, all the makeup on my face today is new except for this lipstick. This is Revlon and I believe Coral Red, but like you know, all the products on my face I will list down below. So I have been heavily reviewing new products for the last two weeks, so stay tuned. I think next week I'm gonna do a review of what I purchased in my Sephora VIB sale. Let you guys know what products I like, what products I don't, what I would recommend you buying, so on and so forth. So that'll be next week's video. So yeah, without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the makeup video. I have some different brushes, clean brushes, although they don't look clean. I don't know why. How do people get their brushes looking like super clean? They are clean. I did wash them, but clean brushes and I have all my highlighters here. So this is going to be a mix of luxury and affordable highlighters because you know how we do it here. I don't discriminate. I love all prices actually probably the cheaper the better but I am bougie and I do love my luxury products so let's start out with my current favorite drugstore highlighters these are the wet n wild mega glow highlighting powders and I have two shades here blossom glow and I'll swatch these for you and I have precious petals so let's start off with precious petals right here can you see that? Okay, so this is a deeper highlight than I typically use. It looks pretty good with my skin tone right now, but give me like a month and this will look scary on me. Blossom Glow, and as you can see, that is a much lighter highlight. It's a little harsh on my skin right now, but that's only because I have somewhat of a tan, but like I said, give a girl a minute. I won't have a tan for much longer. So these are really, really great. I wanna say they're like five dollars really great drugstore find i bought these at walgreens this might be like somewhat of a weird one but it's not to me like this is the carly bible this is her eyeshadow palette this is her og palette this is the first one that she came out with i've had this forever and it comes with four highlights and then why can't i do math and 10 eyeshadows so four highlights 10 shadows as you can see I have beat the lightest highlight to death. There's like nothing left in this pan. Also, the second lightest I beat to death. And then these two, I don't really touch. I use these mostly for eyeshadows, but I don't use them often as you can see. But these are really great colors for darker complexions. Now these are so buttery and they are so creamy. And this one has a pretty pink. Should I bring you guys down a little bit? There's like a pretty pink kickback in this highlight. It's super gorgeous and it looks really good on the skin. And what I really, really love about these highlights is that they are so creamy and they blend like a dream. Like they just melt into your skin and I love them so, so much. They're so good. I always recommend this palette. One of my coworkers told me she was trying to work on her eyeshadow game. I recommended this palette to her, told her how cheap it was. She loves it, has like since then adventured into more makeup and yeah, so this is a really, really great palette to start off with. I will also swatch the next darkest shade for you guys. And then this one is more like rose gold toned, super pretty, love it. Creamy, 
buttery like I said this is the darker shade oh I love that this is a really really great eyeshadow for me but this would look beautiful on anyone with a darker complexion and then the absolute darkest highlight is stunning and there it is right there so as you can see they're super super pigmented melts into the skin they can be super blinding and if you want to go for a blinding highlight my trick is to take some setting spray so do i have some setting spray here i have the mario badesco facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender i use this in my skincare but i also use this for this highlighting trick that i'm about to show you i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm just going to swatch it for you guys on my face so just putting that on like I typically would and look how pretty that is it's so buttery honestly Carly Bible I love your highlights okay so that is pretty blinding but to show you my highlighting trick you're gonna take a spray facial spray spray your face I'm just gonna spray this side now don't let it dry down like you can let it dry for like 10 seconds but then you're gonna go in with the highlighter and pop it on and oh my blinding so that liquid is just going to adhere to the highlight and just really like paging nasa that is how blinding this highlighter is oh i die for my girls who like a subtle highlight and that is mostly me like i can go either way but for me i like more of a natural glow like a glow from within highlight that's just my personal preference just don't use the setting spray. Use a very light hand, but hold the very end of the brush so you're not applying too much pressure. And just go like that. And you can even do like little sweeping motions. And there, like it's still blinding because we packed it on, but yeah, there we go. This is like my OG, OG highlighter. This holds a very near and dear place in my heart. Like this was the first expensive highlighter I ever purchased um this is the makeup forever pro light fusion in the shade zero one this is my second one it is this gorgeous champagne pink shade oh i can't this is so finely milled and i will just literally like throw this all over my body oh my god it is so pretty like look at that are you seeing this trend here like i like a good pink undertone highlight oh it's so good i love this it is beautiful this is a staple i think everyone should have this highlighter i love this highlighter and this is for all my glow from within subtle highlight girls this one is for you hold it towards the end and just dust it along the cheeks ah oh. see that's just like so subtle and so like romantic to me there's just something so unique about this highlight. I don't know what it is, but look how like dreamy. And then you got ba bam, dreamy, romantic, sophisticated, and bam, hello NASA. This is my like everyday kind of highlight. This is like my going out to a club. You want your man to spot you from all the way on the other side of the club. And this one is just like a beautiful like candlelit dinner. Your man just like thinks you just glow from within because you know what everyone we all glow from within but this it's just like enhancing that glow from within love this makeup forever again i just gotta say one more time Mwah! i love you this is the mary luminizer by the bomb this is like another og highlighter this was like all the rave with um influencers back in the day like this is one of the highlighters that really like broke the highlighter obsession like where we all became so obsessed with highlighters I really like this shade it's just it's like more of a gold undertone so a little less pinky but super great it's super nice it's super creamy I gotta stop saying super I'm gonna take this little flat brush let's just put sweep this down the nose I don't know why people stop talking about this highlighter. 
but like I'm in it. I love it. I actually received this in my Ipsy bag. I just did a video on it reviewing my Ipsy experience and showing you guys some of the products that I get. This is one of the products that I received. If you're interested in hearing about Ipsy, I will link that video down below and you can check that out. I think that was like two videos ago, but yeah, Ipsy, good call on this one. This was like a very lovely reminder of how amazing this highlight is. Okay, now we're gonna adventure into a highlight that I was really skeptical about. I'm gonna be totally honest. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills M. Resi highlighter. Now, oh, it is stunning, it is beautiful, it is everything you want in a highlighter. Now, I was skeptical about this because the entire beauty community, every single influencer you could possibly think of, pretty much, raved about this highlighter. Love this highlighter, just, it was real hyped up. And I really thought that it was just hyped up. And being the reviewer that I am, I just thought to myself, you know what, maybe the hype's real. And oh my God, the hype is effing real. This is stunning. It is so pretty. It is so creamy. Like just to feel it on your fingers. Like look at that. It is beautiful. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it. Oh my God, yes. And I feel like this is one that's pretty versatile. That could be for all skin tones, pretty much. I've tried this in the winter when I have no tan. I'm wearing this now when I do have a tan. It is so pretty. Oh my God, I just love it. I love it so much. And I also think it's like so finely milled and it's not too harsh that like it would look good on darker complexions as well. You should really go to an Ulta and test it out. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment down below. Do you like this highlighter? Do you own this highlighter? Does it work for you? Because I feel like it works for everyone. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Oh my God. I use this palette every single day. It is $65. It is hefty. And I know how much this is because I recently did a video on it where I compared this highlighting palette to the Becca B A light palette and they're both great. If you want to hear about them both, I will link that video down below. But oh my god, this, I take a big fluffy brush. I don't even really necessarily use this as like a highlighter. This is so finely milled and so beautiful. It like picks up any kind of light and just creates a veil over your face. So it kind of gives you like a Snapchat filter, like Instagram filter effect. I'll just run it down like this and just pat it all over my face. Before I put setting spray on, I will like literally pat this down. Almost think of this as like a setting powder. That's kind of how I use this, but it just creates like this beautiful, beautiful like veil. Like my skin is just like blurred, it is beautiful. It's great. I will take the incandescent light sometimes and just put it on a brush and just highlight the cheekbone with it because that is like the lightest one for me and it's just so pretty. I have so much highlighter on my face right now. I don't know what's what, but I'm glowing and this is definitely worth the price. This is like my favorite highlighting palette that I've ever tried and I've tried a lot. It's really, really good. A cream highlighter. This is the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. This is a liquid highlighter. Now, let me just tell you something about this highlighter. Aside from how awesome it is, it can also be a pain in the ass. It tends to dry up in the packaging, so it's kind of clumpy sometimes. I'll put it on the back of my hand. Oh God, I put way too much on. So this is it on the back of my hand just like a very gold bright highlight. So I will just put it in a little bit of moisturizer and I guess let's put it on this side because I don't have as much and put it all over my body. This is like the perfect body highlight even without moisturizer. Like, oh, that looks like a vacation in a bottle. It is so good. I love this. Now I'm going to tell you something because I personally have made this mistake one too many times. Be sure to put it underneath your foundation. If you put this over your foundation, it's going to move your entire foundation. It's going to mess up your face. It's going to show all of your pores. It is just gonna mess it up. So what I personally like to do is I will prime my face. I will then put the Do You Drops along the high points of my cheeks, even a little bit on my nose, maybe a little bit on my chin and a little bit in between my brows and then apply my foundation over it. It's gonna give you that glow from within. So if you wanna apply this to the face, that's how I do it. If not, you can steer clear from that. 
apply it to body lotion or just put it all over. Like I literally all summer took this with some moisturizer and just put it down my legs. I put it across my chest, I put it down my arms and you just seriously glow. You look like you just got back from a Caribbean vacation. I love it, it's amazing. This stuff is really, really great. Those are my seven favorite highlighters that made the cut. They have made it to Mike's house and yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Do you own any of these highlighters? What's your favorite highlighter? Do you have any highlighter application techniques? I would love to hear about them. I would love to test them out and try them myself. And if you have not done so yet, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm a heavy review channel. I'm always testing out new products. Then I sit down here every Thursday and disclose my findings with you guys, hence the name Fortune Finds. So be sure to click that subscribe button. I would love for you to become a part of my little Fortune Finds family. And also be sure to click that bell button and drop it down to all. This way you get a notification every time I upload a video here on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye finders. Mwah.